Hello everybody and welcome to your 24th C Sharp for next night tutorial. Now regarding the last tutorial, uh, there's one thing I just want to show you before I get right into this tutorial. Uh, before we had this, uh, the minutes and the strings and stuff and we did imp parts to seconds and stuff. And that method is, is good as well. But you could change these to integer types and you don't have to convert them to strings. And when you return the value, uh, since of string type, it will return it, it will convert it from an integer to a string type. Uh, so if you guys uh, re want to change to that or, or want to uh, research to that, I never re looked into it. I don't know if there could be possible data loss because you don't explicitly convert it from integer to string. Uh, but I but I found that it is possible to do that so you guys can look more into that later Okay, uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video and delete the code and start the video to Okay, so it's time to continue with this tutorial Okay, so in this tutorial we're gonna be learning about uh, playing videos in in our programs and before I start uh, the video type supported is WMV now I'm not sure about other type file types, but obviously WMV is supported because it's created by Microsoft. Now some people might have troubles with WMV files, uh, because there's different in encoding types of uh, of of WMV files. Like there's different types of AVI files and MP4 files, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So it might be encoded differently. Uh, so uh, what you want if any if all else fails in your WMV files don't work then what you'd want to do is open Windows Movie Maker or Windows Live Movie Maker put your movie in there and save the file um, as a movie file and then it will make the it will encode it into the right type of code and then you can use that using C sharp and X and A uh, so by the end of this tutorial if your video doesn't work uh, then that could be a possible reason why so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to load in uh, a video file um, okay so I gotta go into my game files videos uh, so I guess I'll, I'll use one of my intros I'm not sure which one is WMV so I'm just trying to see. Okay, so this one's WMV. Okay, so I have my uh, my file loaded in. Okay, so there there's three things that we want to do right now. We want to have a, a texture 2D. So we want to have a video texture. Uh, we also want to have a video file. So for a video, and we need a video player to actually play our video. So uh, video player. Okay, so we have three things. So uh, the video is what we're gonna is a file type of which we're gonna load in the video, the uh, conventional type into loading files. Uh, the video player is kind of the media player class. We're gonna be using the video player to play the video, and we're gonna set the the player into a texture 2D so that we can actually display it to the screen. So we basically put our video into a texture and then we display that texture to the screen, and you'll see how to uh, to do so after. So what we what we want to do is we want to do video uh, content dot load uh, the file type is video and the video that I'm loading in is called splash screen. Okay, so we I've loaded in the video uh, right there. Okay, so once the difference between uh, the the media player and stuff like that is that once you created the media player before. Uh, you didn't have to make an instance of the media player. Uh, for the video player class, uh, you should make an instance. Uh, you could put this in the initialize method. It's up to you. But what you want to do is create a new video player. Uh, so you're creating an instance for the video player, and and everything is set right there. Okay. So what you want to do is is what you you're gonna want to set your your texture uh, to to the video play texture. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to put like if the video player dot state equals uh media state dot stopped then you're not you're not gonna want to you're gonna want to play the video so we're gonna put video player dot play sorry and we're gonna play our video 
Now, we, we can play our video, but the video won't actually show up on the screen. So what we want to do is take our video texture, and we want to set it equal to video uh, get no no sorry video player sorry dot get texture okay so once we do video dot get texture we will get the texture of the 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 image of the video and then we'll store it into our texture 2d and once we do it store it to our texture 2d then everything remains the same in our sprite batch so when we drive everything to the screen it's going to be the exact same so we do spray badge dot begin spray badge dot end and we will do spray badge dot draw and then we draw video textures so we draw video texture to the screen uh, we'll do graphics graphics device dot viewport dot bound so that will draw to the whole screen and we'll just do color dot white so we're not tinting into any type of color uh, so if we run this program uh, the video should should run properly uh, see so so this is an error that you can run to uh, into your problem so right now it's saying the video file uh, uh, the video file is invalid. Please make sure the video is not DRM protected. It's a valid or whatever. It's it's not encoded properly. So what I need to do is I need to get a, a different WMV because it's it's still a WMV file. It's just not in, encoded properly. Uh, so what I'm going to try and do is let me do spl uh, import splash one. Hopefully this is in corp um encoded properly flash one uh, so oh yeah I have to stop the debug no I don't know why it's not rebuilding it's saying splash screen dot uh, hold on I have to pause it for a second okay all I had to do was uh, just delete it from my um, from my content uh, so there's one thing that we had to change before before uh, running our program so before I said to set video texture equal to video player to get texture and I had it uh, in here I had it right over here but we, we don't want to do that we want to set our video texture equal to video player to get texture in a draw command since our our draw command is only updated once uh, once per loop uh, the update function updates like 60 frames per second our draw our draw function only updates once so we only want to update what is currently happening in our video frame so if you put this within the update loop then it you won't see a picture if you put it within the draw oh, within the the draw um method then you will actually see a picture uh, so I'll, so you wanna d check do for error checking so you wanna say that a video player player dot state uh, not equals to media player stop so then if it if it played properly uh, then you will uh, you will draw the texture to the screen and then you can do another one to say that if it the video texture is not null uh, then you draw everything to the screen. So you could say a video texture not equals null. Then you draw it. So that's just for error checking, checking, etc., etc. Uh, so you can do that, and then when you run your program, uh, your video should run properly if it's the the right format. Uh, so to watch this. Uh, so the video runs efficiently and effectively uh, so that is it for this tutorial hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and bye